Yo guys, it's Hax here. Today I'm bringing you a Modern Combat vs. Review. I was going to be trying to bring this review video a bit earlier, however, uh, I decided, you know, I'll wait a bit, I'll see what happens, see what they might be offering in the future, talk to the community managers a bit, and really get the opinions of other people as well. Well, it's finally here. The time for me to pass a judgment on this game. Is it good or not? That is the question we will be answering today. Now, the first thing that's on everyone's mind right away is, yes, this is not a Modern Combat 6. It's not a fast-paced shooter where you shoot someone three times and they go down. And that can be a good or bad thing. I know a lot of people have been kind of fed up with Modern Combat 5 and have been waiting for something new to come out, but this is probably not that answer for that. Modern Combat Versus is a completely different style of game. We do see how it kind of relates to Overwatch in just a lot of things. The characters, abilities somewhat represented, the way that the HP system and the damage system works kind of represent that as well. But, uh, you know, this could be a good or bad thing depending on how you look at it. The way I look at it is, okay, it's a new style of game. I decided to try playing it for a bit, and not just playing it, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll play it to get some gameplay. I decided, oh, you know what, I'm going to play this game and try to do really good in it. I was able to get up to the first spot in the leaderboard, uh, so I was able to see the ups and downs of this game, and that is why I am bringing you this video here today. Not wasting any time, we're going to be getting into the bads of the game, starting off with the unlock system. If you're a new player and you just downloaded Modern Combat Versus, this unlock system can be very unforgiving. Uh, the way that you unlock agents currently is you either unlock them with gems or you unlock them with corpins. Gems are the paid currency for Modern Combat Versus and corpins are a currency that you can get on the daily basis. However, they limit you to only 500 on the daily basis, excluding the ones you do get from achievements or for... Uh, doing stuff like 500 kills with headshots or you know that kind of jazz in these games. Uh, a few of the characters are locked to gem only and yes you do get some daily gems in the daily chests however the amount you get in the daily chest it, it doesn't match up to unlocking these agents. One of the stronger agents at the moment is one named Colt and Colt is currently available for only 1200 gems. If you try to get that through the daily chest and only through the daily chest, it's going to take you three months of opening the game every day, playing those seven matches to unlock all the daily chests to actually unlock Colt. Now, personally, I think that's quite annoying. Yes, you can play other agents, but the fact that they really limit you, especially if you're a new player to unlocking these characters, is quite frustrating. Now, the second major issue I wanted to bring up is the matchmaking and the bots. For the matchmaking itself, there seems to be some sort of prime time for actually finding a proper lobby with full players, with 4v4. Um, it's around like 10 o'clock, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. You'll find players, you'll find full matches, 4v4. Oh, cool, this, this is great. But then once you pass this time, it's, you know, you'll, you'll search for a match. You'll be like, okay, I'm the first one in the lobby, no worries. And you'll see a lot of these players connect with the same level as you. And you're wondering, huh, these players aren't really good. And then you finish that game, and at the end of the game, you don't get any trophies, even though you're playing the ranked mode. And that's because bots, after a certain amount of time, it'll start filling these lobbies, these servers with bots, bot players who are not real players. They try to make them seem like real players with changing their names up and all this kind of jazz. But they don't count as score. If you lose against bots, they still they take score away from you, which is ridiculous. So you win, you don't get anything. You lose, you lose trophies. It matches you with real players and bots together, which is ridiculous. It should just be matching you with real players. But the thing is, I don't think it has enough players on the server to actually saturate the lobbies that they're hosting. They really need to cut down on the amount of lobbies. Yes, it might not be as balanced right away because the trophies are plenty different between players, but they need to make some sort of resolve to actually this, uh, to fix this matchmaking system they have. Now this third issue I wanted to bring up, it's not as major as you know the unlock system being terrible or the servers having a lot of issues. 
it's more so like a kind of preference thing. Uh, many of you guys might be able to play a game at 35 FPS. However, we shouldn't have to play this game at 35 FPS. During the soft launch, this game was an unlocked 60 FPS. It was nice, it was fluid, it was smooth. Sometime in between, they decided, you know what, let's put a 35 FPS cap on this game, limiting all the players who play to play at 35 FPS. Now, yes, it's not a major issue, but it's it's still really annoying. Like, it's, it's a shooter game. You should be playing at 60 FPS. It should be nice and smooth. You shouldn't really have to be limited to something this kind of stuttery. Well, you know, I, I think it's stuttery. I play on a 144 hertz monitor, so uh, I'm probably just spoiled. Anyways, that's pretty much the bad of the game. Let's actually get right into the good now. Whoa, Haxer must hate this game. He was just ranting about the bad sides. Guys, you, you gotta you gotta listen to my, my good positive things about this game first before you think I hate it. It's actually a pretty nice game as long as you like warm up to it, to be honest. Well, uh, talking about the good things, let's actually get right into that because we're not wasting any time, you know. So starting off, we have the fact that the game is cross-platform. Finally, after many years of waiting, guys on iOS can play with people on Android as well. Congrats, Game Lofts. We've done something fantastic. I'm, I'm actually quite happy about this. Now there's not going to be any argument about, oh, iOS players are worse than Android players. Android players are better. Or, you know, iOS players are better. Well, now, now you're on the same server, so, you know, it doesn't really matter what platform you're using. Uh, you'll, you'll both be able to play against each other and see who's the best. The next thing I want to point out is the balance. Now, the balance system that they have so far, it is a free-to-play game. So, yes, if you do have a higher level character, you're going to have slightly better stats. However, they, they did make quite big improvements from when this game first soft launch when this game first soft launch if you leveled up an agent it would give you like a 10 percent gain from the previous stats from your previous agent now it's like a three percent raise it's not it's not major but it still can help you out uh, so yes someone who does pay loads and loads of money might get some super strong agent but it's not going to be that much different from someone who you know is playing casually someone who's going to be just unlocking it every once in a while and upgrading their stuff yes there is still going to be a difference between the agents but the balance they've done so far is quite nice Now, the third and last thing I want to bring up as a good side is the esports potential for this game. Now, you might be like, well, this is ridiculous. Why would you put esports in a game like this? No one no one watches games like this. It's not even like Modern Combat 5. But the thing is, it, it's not like Modern Combat 5, but it's more like Overwatch. And there are a lot of people who like Overwatch esports, uh, I do have to say. And, you know, it's not Overwatch. It's not... A Blizzard game it's not gonna get that hype that Blizzard is able to bring to their games but it does have the potential to have its own form of esports section for mobile the way that they presented it the first day they uh, launched this game they had a worldwide stream for showcasing how the esports can be yes the video was pre-edited yes the video was not live even though it was a live stream it was still a very, very nice presentation of showing how the esports of this game can turn out, and I really do like the effort they are putting into it. Even for Android, they have they had a, a hotfix which shows a live tournaments button, which you can't click on just yet. It's it's this it's deactivated, but it, it shows the fact that they're willing and they are able to actually you know start implementing these things and start getting into the esports scene even quicker, which is a good gesture for the future. Yes, it might not be something that will come soon, but it will be something that will help the game out in the long run. Anyways, that is pretty much it. You might be like, Haxer, that was a short review. Yeah, I, I didn't want to make it too complex. I didn't want to get too much footage. I didn't want to make it like a 30 minute video. And this file says blah blah. You know, I wanted to keep it short. I wanted to keep it simple. And I hope you guys 
enjoyed it as well. Just showing the downs and ups for modern combat versus I will be playing the game every once in a while and I, I might do some like update videos depending on what they change, depending on how major the changes are. Uh, but that will be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this modern combat versus review. This is Hack and I'll see you next time. Peace. But you've earned it. The only outcome possible.